When you are really sleeping, do you ever wake up to a surprising noise? What are some noises that might wake you up? Maybe it's an alarm clock or a car alarm. Maybe it's a siren or the television. In today's story, we meet Samuel, a boy who God wakes up in the middle of the night. Why do you think God woke Samuel? Before we hear our story, let's pray together. Say what I say and do what I do. Dear God, wake us up with your voice. Show us what to do. Call us to be a leader. We will follow you. Amen. It's time to hear a story from God's Word, the Bible. Today's Bible story is about a boy named Samuel. In the beginning of the story, Samuel is in his bed sleeping. Okay, little Samuels, lie down in your cozy beds and listen to the story. Samuel was a 12-year-old boy who lived in the temple with a priest named Eli and learned about God. Eli took care of Samuel, and Samuel helped take care of Eli because Eli was almost blind. One night, something special happened. As Samuel slept in the temple, he heard a voice cry out, Samuel! Samuel thought it was Eli calling, so he jumped up from the bed. Here I am, Samuel answered as he ran to Eli. I'm here because you called me. But Eli shook his head. I didn't call you. Go back to your bed. Samuel did as he was told and fell asleep quickly. A little while later, the voice called again, Samuel. This time, Samuel was more tired and crawled out of his bed more slowly. In Eli's room, Samuel rubbed his eyes, scratched his tummy, and said with a yawn, I'm here because you called me. Eli was getting tired of Samuel coming into his room and said more firmly, I didn't call you. Now please go back to bed. When this happened a third time, Eli thought to himself, Aha! It must be God who is calling Samuel. Eli told Samuel, who was now very confused and very sleepy, If you are called again, just say, God, I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. When the voice called again, Samuel did as Eli told him. It was God, and God had many things to say to Samuel. Even though he was only 12, Samuel wanted to serve God. With God's help, Samuel grew up to share many messages from God. People all over Israel knew Samuel as God's trusted prophet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I read the story again, each time Samuel wakes up, you can jump out of your sleeping position and say, God. I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. Samuel was a 12-year-old boy who lived in the temple with a priest named Eli and learned about God. Eli took care of Samuel, and Samuel helped take care of Eli, because Eli was almost blind. One night, something special happened. As Samuel slept in the temple, he heard a voice call out, Samuel. Samuel thought it was Eli calling, so he jumped up from his bed, and we say, God, I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. Here I am, Samuel answered as he ran to Eli. I'm here because you called me. But Eli shook his head. I didn't call you. Go back to your bed. Samuel did as he was told and fell asleep quickly. A little while later, the voice called again, Samuel. This time, Samuel was more tired and crawled out of his bed more slowly. But we still get up and say together, God, I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. In Eli's room, Samuel rubbed his eyes, 
scratched his tummy, and said with a yawn, I'm here because you called me. Eli was getting tired of Samuel coming into his room and said more firmly, I didn't call you. Now please go back to bed. When this happened a third time, Eli thought to himself, Aha! It must be God who is calling Samuel. Eli told Samuel, who was now very confused and sleepy, If you are called again, just say, God, I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. When the voice called again, Samuel did as Eli told him, and we say together, God, I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. It was God, and God had many things to say to Samuel. Even though he was only twelve, Samuel wanted to serve God. With God's help, Samuel grew up to share many messages from God. People all over Israel knew Samuel as God's trusted prophet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who kept waking up Samuel? That's right, God. And who helped Samuel figure it out? The priest, Eli. Once he knew it was God, Samuel answered with joy, God, I hear you, and I will do whatever you want. What did God want Samuel to do? To be a servant, a leader, a messenger. God wants you to be a leader and servant too. Let's answer God with joy like Samuel. Kids, kids, and everyone says together, God, we hear you, and we'll do whatever you want. Good job, faithful servants. Samuel used his listening ears to hear God's voice. Even though he was a boy, God asked Samuel to help do God's work. You can use your listening ears to hear God's voice, too. What kind of things could God ask you to do? Help a friend, be kind to a stranger, listen to a parent. You can hear God like Samuel did, and like Samuel, you can help do God's work. Today we heard a Bible story about Samuel. Samuel was called by God to be a leader for God when Samuel was just a boy. God wants people of all ages, including kids, to do God's work. Samuel was a kid but he listened carefully to hear God's voice. We can be good listeners for God, too, when God calls on us to help. Samuel helped do God's work, and we can, too. Thanks for putting on your listening ears today to hear the story of Samuel. God called Samuel out of his bed and into the world as a leader. God calls you to be a leader in the world, too. Let's pray. God, we hear you and we will help do your work. Amen. Have a great week.